So, hi guys, I'm Lil and this is Lil's Takes, the podcast. Well, the names, we're still probably working on the name. Lil's Takes pod? Lil's Takes... It's just going to be called Lil's Takes. I won't, I, we'll figure out what I say after that later. <laughs> so, today I am back. It's been a whole week. Have you missed me? For me, it's been a whole week as well because we record this on the day. Um... But I am back with Liam. I've brought Liam back with me because mostly I don't want to just sit and talk to myself for an hour. How boring. I think you would find that boring as well. Yeah. Um, And Liam is a fantastic person to talk to. And I like getting his little insight into what I say. Because me and Liam do have differing opinions on some things. But not to a point where we argue about it, actually. We don't have arguments. We have conversations. We do. (laughs) such a thing that someone who argues says. That's true. <laughs> we don't have arguments, we just have conversations. <laughs> no, but we do have different opinions. Not that, not like contrasting, but we see things differently and I think mm. that's really good to chat about. Of course it is. And it is a good, um, it's a good way to lead into today's episode, which is going to be mostly talking about relationships. Is it? And it is, yeah. Wow. I don't know if I briefed you beforehand. Have you got the pamphlet with you? I have. Does this I mean I've read it? a good two days <laughs> on that. And if you've not come prepared, then that's on you. Um, So we're going to be talking about all things to do with me and you. No, couples in general. We're not going to just talk about ourselves because how self-centred. Maybe I will actually for a bit. I quite like talking about myself. So We're also um, going to talk about other people's relationships. We are. We're going to talk about, um, again, I got you guys to send me in some dilemmas, some confessions my favorite bit that is my favorite bit well, you, being nosy. it's the confessions some of the some of you guys are unhinged you've been sending me things that i don't think you could actually torture me and i'd release yeah. that information yeah that, those but sort of you hate just crimes. gave it to me freely <laughs> that's fine though um it's all for the purpose of your own entertainment so you know what out yourself at your own risk um but we've got some confessions that do not relate at all to the subject but i think it's going to be a nice break for us um and we've got some dilemmas that you guys would like maybe our differing opinions on so we're going to give you that as well that'll be fabulous when we get into it we're going to start off though with lil's takes i'm going to give you my take on a couple of things that i think are important to address instantaneously are those external to us are these takes these on- are no, just relationships in general. Oh, okay. This is not my take on Liam. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Decent. I keep him around. <laughs> he drives the car very well. So. Is that it? That's all I am to you, a chauffeur. That's he's all he's good for. That's it. No, um, this, I think I'm going to talk a bit more broadly to start off with. Relationships in general. Because I have, um, not all of my following is our age. I mean, we're 20, both of us. Um, but I started, when I started TikTok, I had a following of mostly like younger, maybe 15 school mm. age. So like GCSE age onwards, really. I think that's changed a bit now. They are a lot, a lot old, sort of 18 to 20s. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people that are in like school relationships and um, school sixth form. your range of audience, haven't you? Yeah, I definitely have now, uh, mm. but there's still a lot of a younger viewers. Yeah. And there's people older than me, but there are a lot of people that are school age um, and in school relationships. And I do get a lot of questions when I do um, like Q&As on Instagram and things like that about being in a relationship while you're in school. So I wanted to address that straight away. We'll start We'll start at the beginning and we'll age our way up. But I wanted to say straight away, it. I bet a million people have said this, but it seems like a massive thing when you're in school. Yeah. Like having a, a boyfriend in school is like, your only <laughs> focus at that point in time. And you feel like it, um, it's the trajectory of your life will be altered by this relationship. It's not that deep. It won't. I've, I mean, some people do. They find their like high school sque- sweet, sweethearts. Go on. They find their high school sweethearts um, when they are 16, 15 years old. You, back in the olden days, your nan probably met your granddad when... Was she 12. was she was twelve and he was eighteen. Something <laughs> something along the really odd lines of that. It's not like that anymore. Um, but there are people still who meet their their forever person at that Very age, young, yeah. which is fair enough. Um, but most people don't, and that is I think that's fair to say. Um, but yeah, it won't alter the trajectory of your life. And I guarantee you, by the time you are nineteen, and anyone says. Oh, how many relationships have you actually been in? You won't even count them. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be like, that one, mm. it didn't even reach the books. <laughs> It'll be the first one that starts it. Yeah. And then, yeah, from yeah. there, yeah. Yeah, I think, I, f- I feel like you start having proper relationships when you're like 16, 17. Yeah. I, I think anything starting younger than that, 
it's just like you figuring out what our relationship probably should look like. Um, but I, I just don't stress it too hard because I get a lot of questions like, oh, I'm, I'm 15 and my boyfriend, I don't think he likes me. Oh, bin him off then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get rid of him, girl. Mm. Oh, boy. I mean, it's not... I've, I, I know it's naive looking at it from my perspective because we're is. older now and you've gone through and you that. Didn't, you didn't look at it that and way. I, no way did I yeah. look at that when I was 15. I was thinking yeah. this is the be all and end all. Like, Oh my God. Oh my is, God. <laughs> the universe yeah. is changing. <laughs> <laughs> the universe is changing. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it seems like such a big thing, but it's not. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to start that straight away. Cause then once, once you have like school relationships, you, you, you go into like having relationships in sixth form and colleges. I, I feel like that's when you start to see people, outside of your little home yeah because you're maturing yeah you've you've not necessarily matured yeah you're maturing that's yeah. right i'd say that's when you start it you might think you're starting it and you might be physically maturing but you're not maturing mentally yeah and you will not have the same taste in people either no. even like your taste will mature yeah um but you will start seeing how big the world is mm. once you reach sixth form and college or you get a job or you go to university things like that yeah. i didn't realize how wide the world was till i went to uni um, definitely not. Yeah. Uh, but I think don't pin all your hopes on something before you are older, older. I mean, if you, I'm a big believer of when you know, you know, mm. like once you know that's your person, you know that's your person. Yeah. And you might, when you, I don't know, because when you're 16, you might think, you know. Yeah. I get what you mean. <laughs> but I don't it's think hard. I, it's a fine line. I don't think mm. I did. I don't think when I was in my, in relationships at, in school, no, when I agree. Yeah. You're 13. You hold, you held hands in the playground, so you must be a fish. And then you told your mum when you got home. Yeah, so you texted him that night. Do you want to hug tomorrow? And you were like, yes. Uh, with two kisses. Let's on the hug end. tomorrow. Yeah. No, I'm talking three world emojis, full love hearts, kissy faces. You, was, you are my world. That oh. was me. There's like so three you had lines emojis of kisses. Then. Oh, yeah, no, I. Year seven, we had I had emojis. a Sony Ericsson, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liam had a... Uh, if you wonder why me and Liam didn't get together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Until we were 18. I had a Samsung <laughs> till, like, year 11. Liam had a Samsung. I couldn't do that to myself. <laughs> no, but... No I was, shade on Samsung users. Definitely not. I was that girl that sent... Um, my paragraph of love hearts was longer than the words I'd sent. I Hilarious, said, Okay, night, 27 rows of red love hearts. <laughs> yeah. But that was that was me. What I'm saying is, don't be <laughs> rolling rivers of red to get to the bottom to yeah. text again. But don't look back and think, oh my god, I was the cringiest. But everyone was the cringiest person alive. Yeah, promise mm. you. Yeah, we were all weird. It's not just you. Everyone's I, been there. I don't know. It might have been just me. I was out. I, I was openly weird <laughs> in school. Fair. Like I, I play with worms and shit. Yeah, you know when people look back and they're like, oh no, I was weird in school. No, I actually was weird, and people knew we were weird. Even then, I recognised it was a bit odd. Anyway, we're straying off. Still rode the wave. Though, <laughs> we're right, straying anyway. off. Stop like, it. I'm weird. I'm going to go with it. Still right. weird. Yeah. yeah, I just rode it out. She was playing with like worms in the garden until she was like 15. I did. Oh. No, 15 <laughs> is a, a massive exaggeration. <laughs> I liked, I, I like, I've always liked animals. I wanted to be a zookeeper. Did you? So I used to like, we used to go to pubs. And I used to befriend, befriend like the cats and carry them around. I mean, I feel like that's fair game though. I feel like everyone does yeah. that. I had to pet worm in school. Everyone, yeah. yeah. Everyone, yeah. yeah. Everyone does Snails. that. Snails. I used to have little snail hotels and... Snail, snail hotels. hotels. Yeah, and just... So even snails. Emily's shocked by that. No, <laughs> snails, you don't have to grab them by the wet bit. I never said you did. You grab <laughs> the shell. Who grabs a snail by Worms. the wet bit? Does that make it any better? <laughs> Psychopath. If you grab your snails by the wet bit. <laughs> by the antennas. Yeah, antennas. Come here. You're coming home with me. <laughs> no, I got told off once, right? Because I was in, in primary school. I um, I rescued two snails. Do you even want... Oh, rescued or rescued... stole from their home? I... You definitely <laughs> chucked them in the drawer and did it. <laughs> on I, your kept, table. I wore a pinafore. Sorry. <laughs> and I had a little pocket. <laughs> so I had two snails. Snails that I rescued from the this playground, was my girlfriend. and I put them in my. I was in year one. Yeah. So did they not crawl out? Yeah, they did. That's how I got caught. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I had two snails in my pocket, and I got caught because I think I was like making sure they were all right. And my teacher, um, what you got there, Lily? Snails. Two snails in my pocket. <laughs> Why asking questions? <laughs> she was like, "Well, you need to take those outside." I don't think I do. I've just rescued them from the outside. You don't know the terrors they were facing. Yeah. Anyway, I put them back outside. Uh, <laughs> So, and that's the end of that. <laughs> so, if you wonder why me and Liam didn't get together soon, <laughs> I played football. She played with snails hotels. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the thing. Liam, Those poor snails. Liam was far cooler than me in school. We didn't Still meet is. until we were in I secondary. I don't like to mention it, but no, I'm <laughs> we didn't meet until we were in secondary school anyway. Mm. Um, and I knew who Liam. I knew his name from year seven. I knew everyone there. I was one of those people that 
I made I sure was, I, I was terrible with names. I made sure I knew everyone's name. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I knew who you were. And then when we spoke about this, when we actually got together, I was like, I knew you straight away. And Liam was like, that is lovely. I had no clue you existed until I maths. No <laughs> idea until 10. we got put in the same class <laughs> in year 10. <laughs> That's quite a few years. Anyway, I'm past it now. I've grown up and I'm over it. Um, I don't think you are. I was going to say, <laughs> I don't think you are. <laughs> I'm saying that. No, I still am. It's not that deep. <laughs> um, so if we're moving on from school relationships, this is something that I can definitely speak on. Having a relationship when you're at university, I think there's so many different ways that this can go. Like if you are both yeah. in university at the same uni, that's completely different. To, like me and Liam, I go to university. I live there, although I do come home a lot because um, it's quite close. And Liam doesn't. Liam's got a job, a real life actual job. And he works that. You keep saying it like you don't work and stuff like this. Like you have a job like. Yeah, this, I don't this, have to this, go anywhere. This is your job, I do yes. it from my bedroom. Uh, so I can take my job wherever I go, whereas uh, obviously... Same with uni work, yeah. So Liam has to stay at home all the time. I have to stay at uni for my classes. So we do end up spending a lot of time apart um, in, in term time, at, uh, like school times. Um, and, but do you know what? It's not difficult. Mm. You know, looking, I don't find it. I don't difficult. think it's difficult. I don't... Um, I mean, there's, there's been times where we've like, oh, it's been a while since I've seen you and stuff like that. Yeah. But. In the moment, it's it's hard. Oh, yeah. Like in the, um, when I'm on day five of not of not being at home, <laughs> five days I'm not seeing Liam. Mm-hmm. Um, it is like being in the Sahara. I don't know how to survive. After mm-hmm. a few days, I'm like, I need I need to come home. Yeah. But it's easy. It, I, I'm speaking from a privileged perspective because I've got that, whereas like, I can get on a train and I'll be home in an hour. Whereas if I know... That. Yeah, mm. if that. But if people, you know, uh, you live up, up north and your boyfriend's down south, and then mm. it can be one of those things that put, puts a lot of strain on a relationship, mm. understandably. It's quite, look, we're quite lucky in the sense as well, like, um, we, we can, I hate saying it that way, we can afford to just bounce yeah. between. Some yeah. people don't have that privilege. Yeah, my train is four pounds home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's why. Like, yeah. And we both drive as well. So it's exactly. not. And I can, Hard I, I for can us just to drive. drive up to you if needs be. Yeah, there's like, been... There's no way I catch a train because I don't know how work. But. <laughs> there's so many times when Liam... Liam has never caught the train to see me. Oh, no, never, no. It takes 25 minutes to get the train. Liam, he'll drive an hour. <laughs> um, that's the thing, though. You say it takes 25 minutes, but you've got to get from your home... Yeah, that's ...to the, the train thing. station. You've got to get there five, ten minutes early to get on it. Put your car got, at the train station. Exactly. Cost you money. Yeah. Yeah. Then you got to get the train. Then so, you got to get to me. And a car, there. you're in the comfort of your own little... Exactly. I'm listening to my music. Yeah. I don't have to worry about someone breathing <laughs> disgusting breath down my back. <laughs> that is so true. Because yeah. the train is a filthy place as well. Yeah, especially yeah. from our A time. train toilet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, never. Sorry, what happened there? A train toilet. Oh, awful behaviour. No. I've yeah. never been in I don't I trust them either. You know, I they mean, stink. Actually, the ones in Italy, that was all right. They the, were Did you know right. the Italian trains are decent? They're yeah. very confusing though. Very confusing. Sold. Do you remember? I, don't, I still don't know how they work now. No, like, we, didn't, we didn't validate our ticket and almost got fined and had to buy another ticket. But... Almost, we did get fined. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he just made us pay for a new one. Oh, sorry. Fine's like 100, 100 euros. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, we didn't pay that. We didn't get Jesus that. Christ. Lucky, one of the lucky ones. Mm. Um, but yeah, so we, are, we look at it from quite a privileged perspective. But I do get how being at uni, when I, when I first moved to uni, I used to get DMs and, people, uh, and messages from people being like, um, uh, Basically saying that 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 relationship's not going to last. Like between me, good and luck. You. Yeah, like oh, right. good luck having a good luck having a uni relationship because it works if you if you want to make it work. Exactly, it's right. one of those things that if you want it to work, it'll work. Yeah, you gotta you put gotta the put work the in. Yeah, you gotta put so the you gotta, effort you gotta, you gotta one size fits all, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. it's definitely not one size fits all. And but it might be one of those things that makes you realise you're not right for that person. I agree because there it, it does happen. You mm. can move to uni and then and then. Again, what I said earlier, realise the world is a little bit mm. wider. You meet completely new people. Yeah, we've both had that experience, like yeah. with friends and where yeah. friends have gone through that. Yeah. Or just spy everywhere again. Yeah, we've a lot of our friends have, have had university had relationships that have either they've been at home and then they've been at uni and they've they've well, split up for that. So, yeah. Or even been in the same university and then it's still not worked out. It's mm. not it's not a death sentence for your relationship if one of you goes to uni and one of you doesn't. Yeah. You don't have to look at it like that because no. it can work. You just got to want it to work. Yeah. You've got to put the effort in it. It's yeah. as simple as that. And you, if, it, if it's one-sided, you've got to... I'm a big believer in conversa- conversation. Oh, you, yeah. You, you've got to talk. You, mm-hmm. you can't it's just expect cliche. something from someone, um, not get it, and then 
just drop drop it at a hat and yeah. say that's it. They're not putting the effort in. Yeah. Why? Why yeah. they're not putting the effort in? Is there an underlying issue? Is it you or is it just them? They're not feeling great. X, yeah. X, Y, Z. There's always reasons for everything. You've yeah. got to find out the reason, whether it's to do with the mm. relationship fizzling out or yeah. whether there's an underlying issue. Because at the end of the day, if, you, if it's because you're not seeing each other, mm. uh, it's so hard to say like, just... <laughs> Because you can't just say just see each other more because you no. can't. You didn't have that luxury no. at that point, unfortunately. Mm. Um, but Do something different. Yeah. If all you do is, for example, if all you do is when you see each other, just go and sit at home and watch telly, mm. go out on a walk. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying spend money because if you haven't got the money to spend, then don't spend money. Yeah. Go out on a walk. Mm. Go get some fresh air together. Yeah. Go do something. If there's a local event, it's, yeah. you know, it sounds like really bummy in the sense of, oh, you don't want to, I don't want to go and do that. Yeah. Go have a laugh and a so, joke. You don't have to take the event seriously. Exactly. Just... Sometimes they're the best things. Oh, yeah. Like, the, the best dates you have are always the cheapest ones. I agree. That's always true. Um, mm. But it is it is the, the overwhelming thing that people think is mm. the, the trust issues. Like, yeah. if someone moves away somewhere, then you're not there to sort of supervise. Mm. Like... That's the wrong attitude to have in that. Yeah, it is the wrong attitude to have <laughs> I understand people do have trust issues from relationships. Oh, yeah. Maybe they've been in the past and you've not been treated nice and that's completely mm. understandable. But you got to, that's a new partner. You've got to start afresh. Yeah. And also if it's not a new partner and they've been a bit, I don't know. Uh, questionable. Yeah, had questionable behaviour in the past. Maybe a bit crazy. I don't know. I'm very biased in the fact that I'd just be like, I've got it too good now. Mm. If any, if I, if one thing went wrong in a different relationship, I'd be like, see ya. Because yeah. I know I can have it so much better. Yeah. But a lot of people don't have that. You don't yeah. have that privilege because I don't feel like you understand that until you're in it. Um, but yeah, a lot of it is the trust issues thing. And I feel like if you're starting that off straight away with, I don't trust you, mm. that's the one thing you've got to have. 100%. You can't go into a relationship. It's it's hard. It's, it's easy for me to say in this situation, or it looks like it's easy for me to say, you can't go into a relationship bringing old baggage with you. Yeah. Like you aren't ready for a relationship is- if you've still got that baggage. Yeah. That is really hard to say because yeah. a lot of people, it, yeah. it does af- it does it does affect yeah. you having it, a really. Some people it is lifelong, mm. and there's always that that voice in the back of your head saying yeah. this that, and the other. But you've got to learn to cope and deal with that. And yeah, that th- is a new person. It's a mm. new person. Yeah, they don't have to be the same person as who you've been, been with yeah. in the past in, in, in the sense of how they act. Not everyone is the same. No, uh, you know if you. Uh, I don't know for lads it, it's exactly the same for lads as it is for mm. girls you, if you go out with a couple of people in a row that have been awful mm. and you've just you've unlo- you're have you unlucky with it not unlucky yeah. you, you've you picked the wrong people Yeah, um, that's not your fault that's not their fault you like who you like but um, you sort of lose hope a little bit and you're like that's it there's, yeah. there's no there's no nice people in the world everyone acts like this there is yeah. I promise you there is there is nice people mm. and there are that your person is there and yeah. I, I feel like I speak from such a privileged perspe- perspective because I do have you. Um, so, but I feel like I give better advice now I have you because I know what is right yeah. to what is wrong because I've been in both those, those relationships. Mm. The great I'm lucky one. in that sense as well. Yeah. Because you're all right, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. I can deal with you, which yeah. is Above more average. than I can say. For, <laughs> <laughs> but no, we do speak from a privileged perspective. But yeah. I feel like that gives me... Which makes it look like, sorry, it makes it look like it's easy for us to say. Yeah. But, we're saying it because we've experienced it. If you go, I've right. seen we've we've been in relationships before. We've been mm. together, obviously, and they've obviously not worked mm. out. But we've also witnessed relationships yeah. external to us. Yeah, and it's different. It's di- yeah. obviously different having an outside view and not being involved. Mm. But and obviously, it's different people involved. Like we we are very different people. Yeah. To obviously everyone else that we've experienced externally, mm. but that doesn't mean that those people can't find their person that will have oh, yeah. a similar bond and. Yeah. Like recently we've had a couple of our friends have gone through breakups. Oh, yeah. so everyone's broken up at the same time, which was a bit weird. Yeah. But um and what, what do they call it? Um Oh, it's something season. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. But anyway. There's a word for it. Yeah, it's calling season of the relationship. <laughs> um No, but uh and we've had them like so there's been a lot of talk about breaking up in relationships and things like that. Mm. And I give the best advice now than what mm. I've ever given. You know, you have that single person that gives advice. Mm. I thought I was sick at it back in the day. I'm like, just burn him, you don't even need him. Mm. <laughs> but now I'm like, I've got so much, I've got a mm. better insight because I've seen the inside and the out. Mm. And I just, I have so much more faith in humanity. Yeah, now. I agree, I'm the same. So much more faith. Like mm. there are really nice people out there. So don't give up your search. Yeah. Because I feel like that's... Um, I know it's a cliche, but everyone says you find the right person when you're not looking. 
And that is so oh, true. Yeah. That's what, for our experience, that's what yeah. happened. From my personal view, that's yeah. what happened. Yeah, same. I definitely think that's, mm. it's a huge factor because you're not like analysing everyone. No. I, I didn't analyse you for a relationship when, I, when we first got together. I wasn't mm. thinking, hmm, like, what, what about, is he caring? Is he kind? Is he, mm. I, we, we didn't care about that because we, no. we were mates first. So it's a bit different. Exactly, but yeah. when you're not looking for a relationship, you don't analyse people. And mm. so you, you find out who they are a lot more organically, I think. Yeah. Um, but again. Don't force things. That's we speak what from our own experience. Well. Yeah. Yeah, if it's mm. not working and you're just constantly trying to fix things. Something that my mum says to me all the time, um, are you not worried that you've let you've met Liam quite young? <laughs> like Is that meet, what she says? Yeah, yeah, meeting people quite young. Yeah. Um I, I said earlier, didn't I? Some people meet their, their soulmates really really early yeah. on, but a lot of people don't. Uh I think I, I'm not worried that I've met you. No, no, I'm not worried about Because we met when we were 18. Yeah. Got together when we were 18. I don't think Wow, was that long ago? That's a lot of people. <laughs> Jesus a lot of people find that scary. That yeah. like, oh, it's a commitment thing. I think mm. I don't know because I've met them that young. Can I commit to them for the rest of my life? Like that's mm. a really long time. But again, I'm a big believer of you know when you know, and it yeah. doesn't even phase me as an issue. That mm. oh my god, I'll never I'd be able to see other people. Mm. That doesn't even bother me. Like because I feel like I've reached a point where I know it doesn't matter how many if I see other people now. I'm not going to have a relationship that compares to ours. Yeah, I get that. Because is that know. you being naive though? Is it being is it me being naive and not having the world life experiences? <laughs> but it is a you know when you know situation. I think. Yeah, I agree with that. And it's like a lot of people say like you need to go out and experience things. It's like I've I don't think I wouldn't say I've oh I've experienced everything dead young, mm. but everything that I would be missing out on that people have said to me is like doesn't bother me. Yeah, like you obviously weigh up your pros and cons and stuff, mm -hmm. but there's nothing that people said, oh, what? You, you were going to be with Lily the rest of your life. You can't do this. I was like, mm -hmm. even if I wanted to do that, which I don't, I'm not I'm, like, I'm, I'm not bothered yeah. that I'm missing that. Yeah. But I wouldn't miss it anyway. It's, yeah. I'm not missing it because I wouldn't want to do that anyway. Yeah. And it's, you don't, you don't have to miss things either. Like, no, yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah. There are some things that obviously you're not going to mm -hmm. do, but um, like, we're going to touch on this later, but girls and lads holidays, Mm. Me and Jasmine were talking about this because we've just, as a girl group, went to Zante. Mm. You don't have to, again, it's not a death sentence. People were no. talking to me and Jasmine like, uh, why are you doing that? Like, yeah. you can't. And I You've was got getting a boyfriend messages at home, like, why are you going on a girls' yeah, holiday? Yeah, why, like, would, you go enjoy to, yourself, why like, would you want to go to Zante when you've got a boyfriend at home? Well, you I'm go not, to Zante to enjoy yourself. I'm not your going time. to Zante to exclusively meet men. What do yeah. you think I do out there? Yeah. What do you take me for? But it's that's quite offensive, isn't it? When you yeah. think about it that way, it's like you're only going for that reason. It's Why like, are you even going to Sunny? Yeah. Oh, um, see, one reason. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's, like, there's so many mermaids. Another reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen me play mermaids? It's intense. Um, but spending time with your friends and it's not a sacrifice. It's not. You need that. That's one thing I would say in a relationship as well. You need to spend time with your friends. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. That's one thing I messed up with in the past. Mm. You like need to have in, your own identity and your own yeah. life 100%. outside of a relationship. Yeah, 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 definitely. That is really important. Everyone says it, but it is true. Yeah. The mm. cliches do always turn out to be true, Yeah, unfortunately. The cliches for a reason, because obviously they've been spoke about that much. Yeah. Obviously it's come from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's so easy not... To, I, I don't know. I can only speak from my experience. Mm. But going to Zante, it's so easy not to cheat on your boyfriend if you don't yeah. want to. Yeah, yeah. just say I, no. Honestly, <laughs> Just be like, no thanks. Yeah. Fair enough. Not everyone's a monster. Yeah. It's gonna be like, no, well, you've got to come on a, you've got to come on a date with me. Oh, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't do I. You just, just say no, guys. Just yeah. say no. Um, but me and Jasmine were talking about this when we're away. Um, because every night we'd go back and Facetime Liam and mm. Jasmine and Facetime her boyfriend, and it's like, I, I, it's a bit different for girls and boys because I don't think boys get approached <laughs> as many times as girls no, that, do. Yeah, that's true. That's boys true. Yeah. seem to have a lot, I don't, less of a conscience. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so much more confidence yeah. on the strip. <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen. There's so many lads that have the uh, the notion of, uh, I'm never going to see these people again. Yeah, like, lads so go in it with like, feral. here yeah. I am in Zante, for one reason only, females. <laughs> I'd love to be an eye in the sky and just yeah. see like, the menacing activity that happens down there. No, feral. It is men are feral. Um, <laughs> yeah. But 
Some girls are as well. I'm not saying girls aren't because there works are. Works both ways. It works both ways. There Positive, are girls yeah. that go on holiday and do Two-way things street, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But the, you can have 17 men come up to you in one night and be like, oh, you're so gorgeous. You just have to say, thank you, I've got a boyfriend. And most people will walk away at that yeah. point. They're not interested. If, if you don't show interest... Like that not, place is so dense with yeah. other single women. Yeah. If you're going on a lads a girl, girls' holiday like that, you are so densely populated. They'll find another one a year in ten minutes. <laughs> Literally, if, if that. If, and that sounds horrible, but that is all they're there for. A yeah. lot of people, and so they don't they don't want to waste their time on trying to wear you down and exactly. get you to go get a drink mm. with them. And one thing I think as well that I didn't think like this before is like it sounds like cook behaviour, but. Joe, when you go, you've been on a holiday, like mm. you say, people are, like you come back and say, "Oh, these lads are like hitting on me." This yeah. is like, trust your girl to say no. And why is it a bad thing that lads are hitting on your girl? Like, <laughs> yeah. surely you'd be more offended if they didn't yeah. <laughs> for a start. Because obviously that means you've got an attractive woman. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a hard thing to because that is a it's hard thing to take in. That's a when I, that's a lot of people's argument. You know, when mm. you say like, I yeah, wouldn't but, think about that. Yeah, like, but I didn't. I didn't like get a drink with any of them like yeah but you didn't but you're being approached by people when I'm not there and it's it's a bit like I'm it's not hard it's, this, yeah. it's just hard to deal with mentally like knowing you're not there and and mm. there's people coming up to you I would find it hard mm. um but again it's that trust thing of course if it is. if you trust me enough to go in the first place mm. I'd trust you to do exactly the same thing yeah. it's all about knowing you said this to me when I came back, knowing which side my bread's buttered. Yeah, like, yeah, actually. Why the grass is is not always greener. Yeah. There's, so there's why not, would... There was not a single point in that holiday that you went on that I had to die in my mind that you was going to come home and, yeah. and be weird, be funny, yeah. or, or have any die in mind that anything happened yeah. to do with all the lads on that holiday. Exactly. It's, you, it's... you went on that holiday to enjoy your time. There were so many times before where you turned around and said, I don't want to go. I don't want to yeah, go. Yeah, I did. I did have major doubts, yeah. to be fair. Just because of. I don't, people, I don't want to say I for, yeah. I don't want to say I forced you to go. Yeah, but, but you did help me decide because there was. I tried to sell my ticket yeah. <laughs> at one point. Did this other girl wouldn't have it? I was gonna. Mm. I was gonna lose the money. I was like, I just won't go. It's just gonna be. But I ended up going because Liam was like, "You're not going for any other reason to have mm. fun with your friends, and if you're worried about me, mm. then don't be." Because I, I was just worried that Liam would be worried about me. I was no. worried about you, worried about me. Yeah, I know what you mean. Because I, I, I was worried about your feelings. You didn't want me to how, feel uncomfortable, yeah. Yeah, and how you'd feel with me out yeah. there. I knew and I, tr- I knew mm. in myself that everything would be fine. Mm. I was just worried that how you wouldn't, mm. in the back of your mind, you'd yeah. have a niggling little, yeah. I'm not there to not protect her. Don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect. There's always a voice in the back of your head. Yeah. You've just got to have that clarity. Override and, that at uh, some yeah, point exactly. and be like, I trust you. Yeah. And, and then... I, this, the thing is, if you trust someone and then it doesn't work out, mm. if you someone does betray your trust like that, then that's the wrong person. Yeah. yeah. There was I never know, the right person for there's you. There's a lot of people that break up and they get back together. That's a hard thing for me because yeah. that's one thing that I've I've not seen anyone do successfully. Um, yeah. Unless they're I'm not really saying it doesn't young. happen. And, yeah. yeah, it does happen. Of mm. course it does. But obviously I can't speak from experience that yeah. I know that that works. The, unless they're like really young, you've had a really young relationship. Obviously, young and you're stupid, and then <laughs> you get back together when you're they've older. They've grown apart. They've been with yeah. other, other yeah. relationships. You've grown up. You're adults drifted now. back together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially if no one's hurt properly, like hurt each other. If you've ended amicably, it's a bit different. That's I suppose. different. Yeah. Of course um, it is. For like outside reasons, fair enough. But um, yeah, I think for me, I'm one of them people. You know, if you get a niggling in the back of your head, if you get the ick. There's, you always say you can't come back from the ick. You can't. There's no way. <laughs> Once it's there, it's there. Even if you get rid of that ick yeah. and six months later you're like, well, that ick's gone. I think we should. No. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> no, don't. Just don't. Because the ick will come back. Yeah. It follows you. I promise. It lingers. It lingers. The <laughs> ick does. Yeah, it's one of those things that I just, I don't know. Once you've got a doubt in your head, you run away with it and it turns into so many more. And then you end up in a hole. Is that it? It's no way to dig yourself out of that hole. There you go. Then. The ick hole. <laughs> I think it is easy though to fall into the trap of wanting to pretend that the ick isn't there. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. You try and convince yourself that it's yeah. something small. You can get over it. It's and not a like, big deal. I don't, I, I, it's like not something that affects my everyday life. I could just get on with it. No, mm. but then it, it, it gets worse yeah. and it spreads and you're in an ick hole. Not speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> Take that sounded Liam. a bit personal right? <laughs> Jesus Christ I'll tell that with a pinch of salt shall I <laughs> no definitely not with you me and Liam say this all the time there's nothing mm. Liam has ever I used to get the ick so quick like mm. 
if I started speaking to someone, I get the ick within a week and that's it. I can't do it anymore. Um, but with Liam, we've been together almost two years and I, there's nothing you could do that could give mm. me the ick. Yeah. Well, Everything he does because, is hilarious to me. Yeah, I like that. It, I think it's also in the sense of um, we're, we're best friends before we are. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we, we wasn't best friends before we got together. Yeah, but we are but like. We are best friends in the same time. Yeah. Again, that sounds cliche. Oh, my relationship. I'm, I'm oh, with my best friend. It's not my boyfriend. He's my best friend as well. Yeah. No, but you are Literally. you are the closest person to me. And I could throw anything at you. You throw it straight back at me. Like, yeah. It's that, it's that kind of There's nothing. Well. I could do something so weird and you just match my energy <laughs> and just do it, do or, it as well. Or, or if it's that weird, I just go, that's weird. And then we'd just laugh about it yeah. and then move on. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, we'd carry on. <laughs> no, there's nothing else behind it. It's just... I've never met anyone that matches my weird. Uh, like, because I am weird. Yeah, she's <laughs> a bit very odd. weird. But I am also weird. Yeah, but so are you. So we're just odd together. <laughs> That's why it works. Go on, hit me with a confession. Oh, shall I? Yeah, hit me with a confession. I'm ready for these. Okay. Honestly, I love these. <laughs> yeah, from la- from I do like the confession. Yeah, from last week. I like the confession. So, oh, I don't think I'm going to go with the first one first. Let's, mm. let's go with the second one. I like this guy. But I also like his brother. Ooh. Ooh. What do I do? That's a sticky one. What do you do there? Uh, uh, I have no idea. Keeping it in the family, you've taken it to a next level. Yeah. Okay. Girl, you, this is a girl to girl thing, I think. Well, I, it could be I'm, a boy. I don't know who sent this. Oh, well, yeah, actually, that's true. That's a good point. Um, I don't know what to say about that. <sighs> you Wait, can't. so are they in a relationship? With... No. I think, so no, she I likes think she this li- boy. I like but, this guy, but, or, well, it could be a guy. Well, I like this guy, but I also like yeah. his brother. So I don't <sighs> think they're in a relationship. I did get a few, though. Well, I'll touch on that later. Um, <laughs> But yeah, about family members. A lot of people are saying they fancy their boyfriend's dad. Really? Yeah, that's different. Uh, yeah. That's odd. That is weird. That to is me, odd. To me, that is odd. <laughs> yeah. The, Sorry. You can't say you've got a type if you fancy your boyfriend's dad. Yeah. I mean, the same genes and all that. Well, Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, there's got to be an age gap there. Yeah, surely. <laughs> surely. <laughs> 18 to 74. Right? What's going on here? Someone's waiting for someone to pop their clogs. Yeah. I, think. I think your dad's rich. Is what, you, oh, what you've seen got there. Old money. <laughs> got old money. But yeah, no, if you like someone, you like their brother at the same time. First of all, that's rough. There's going to be another another age gap here. Are we talking younger brother, older brother, younger brother? I've got questions. Older brother. Yeah. <laughs> we Maybe. need more contact. Yeah, yeah. We, need more contacts. we need more contacts in this. But if you, I don't know, if you just. It's you, not as bad because you just fancy them. If you're in a relationship yeah. with with someone and then you're like, well, I think your brother's quite fit. No, <laughs> you got to cut that off at the stem. Yeah, that's true. You, I don't you, think this issue is that deep. No. no, I don't think it's that. It's not I that think, deep. But also in the same fact, like if you, if you just like them, you can't you can't dabble down both roads, can you? you no, can't, it's not like you, <laughs> you just go. Oh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to date both yeah. on you. Like, yeah. Choose, I wouldn't even say choose one if it don't work good for other because you know, <laughs> yeah. like, there you go problem solved next yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, choose but one surely if then work. if you did pick one you'd always wonder what if with the other yeah, that that's is true point. Christmas is going to be awkward believer and live life without regrets and all that yeah. like, Jesus that's uh... I think befriend them both yeah Make them think you're doing that. <laughs> Be friends with them first. That's I feel like all the best relationships. If they, if they are brothers that go out together, are they really close? Are they oh, really that's close? Awkward. Yeah. Ooh. But it's like, can you get them in the same room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you ask them questions and compare their answers <laughs> in secret? That's, that's I'm destroying broke out here, by the way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but I think maybe if you if maybe if you're convinced not convinced, but if you think maybe this is it for you. And one of these brothers might be it. Oh, then follow your heart. Here's a way to take it, right? Don't know what I'm doing my hands. <laughs> Give it to um, me. You, you've obviously gone for one first and the other ones give you doubts. Yeah, that is so, true. Say I, as I say, I love Ireland, like, mm. and keeping my options open and all that. But Yeah. But then if you get in doubts with the initial brother that you chose... Sure, that's a red flag straight away. Is that an ick? Yeah. yeah. Who did you like first? Who did you like first? Yeah. Because but- if your eyes are being... If your head is already being turned mm. from the first brother, maybe you shouldn't give it a sign with the second brother. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Um, but I think if... Unless you're feeling like this could be something serious, I think you need to cut that them both off yeah. and maybe find someone that has got a brother that you don't fancy someone, yeah, or we, it's just an only child yeah get an only child <laughs> yes that's a good point as well the world is a lot bigger than you think so it is these mm. there is, yeah. you've managed to find two people in the same family there are so many other families <laughs> yeah. that you could have chose from go next door I mean, right. go, yeah go next door try the next county along 
Go go out in the next village next weekend. I guarantee you'll find another. Classic. Um, can I read you one? Yeah, you can read me one. You've been reading me one. If you fancy it. So I get to it is choose. Couples edition. So there's four on here. We've yeah. gone for one already. Yeah. I'm not going to go back to the first one. So it's one okay. of the other two. So. I already had an answer for that one, so that's a shame. See, this is crazy to me. Okay. Like, this this is this is mental. And I'd like Emily to get involved in this. One. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. I lost my virginity to a prostitute in Amsterdam. Do you know what? I'm what not as shocked th- because this happens more than you think it does. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. I've yeah. heard a good few stories like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wh- when, I'm not going to lie, Zanti opened my eyes. Really? Yeah. A lot of people go on holiday to do that. Really? Mm. Yeah. Amsterdam's a big one because loads of, people go, loads of people go to Amsterdam for that red, the red light district, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Dirty I'm, dogs. I'm assuming that's where that's come from. Yeah, I'm and they've assuming. gone to the red light district, and uh... I don't think you've said it as a confession, but you know what? I reckon there's a lot of people listening to this that I thought that's how I did it. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't. You're not alone. Never hate the game. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know what? If that's that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. Yeah, I, I think, think you do you. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You do yeah. you? Because there's wherever you go. Well, there was a um, there's a uh, adult establishment <laughs> in Zanti and I was surprised because there were people talking about like different groups mm. and they'd um and like they'd, they'd sent their lad friends or girlfriends there or they'd they'd gone with the intention of going there really like and it, it, they'd planned it beforehand I mean that's very efficient yeah I'm glad you Fair have play. a schedule yeah. <laughs> we're doing Itinerary. boats on Wednesday <laughs> girls on Thursday <laughs> <laughs> full moon party on Friday is gonna be been <laughs> but some people that that is yeah. Their mindset. Well, it's like, yeah. It wouldn't be me, just put that out there. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be me. But I can see where that's yeah. gone from. No I hate to it. Yeah. I have to say, we went to Benidorm recently and there was just sex everywhere. Yeah. Really? Like sex shows. Don't say that, man. We saw a that's segue. Where we're well, next year. No, a Star Wars segue sex show. See, there's everything. Yeah. Bit wow. of things. There's something for everyone. And if you are into Star Wars, segues, and sex, Better dorm clearly is your place. <laughs> also, guess who's there? Sticky Vicky. Yeah. Oh, right. Did you see Vicky's daughter. daughter? Oh yeah, it's not she's actually, retired. It, a daughter's taken over, yeah. actually. That's something to pass down. Family trophy. Jesus she got Christ. trained. Did she turn and then she gave her like a ping pong ball? She was no, like, it's mad. She your like, turn now. She was like pulling flags out and everything. That is mental. Flags. That yeah, is that's crazy. Has no, she <laughs> opened a bottle of Pepsi like with a. Like what's what are those lids that like you need? Like a bottle opener. Yeah. Like a with a crack one. She opens it with a that is mental. front bum. Oh with that a front, front bum. bum. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Sorry, front bum. Such a great word for Fun. it. Classic. Stick of Vicky's got her front bum out again. <laughs> Jesus. Honestly, crazy. Yeah. yeah, no, but it is I think it's well more common than you think it is. That's why yeah. there's such a big business for it when you go abroad. Because oh, no one yeah. will do that in the UK. That's a, that's a good point. <laughs> no one does it that close to home. No. That's why you don't you know. shit on your doorstep. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's a good point. <laughs> Yeah. Not on your own doorstep. <laughs> but exactly, there's there's a, a market for it. There is a market for yeah, it. Yeah, it's, that's it's, why it's you an go industry abroad. for a reason. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you go abroad because it's untraceable. Yeah. <laughs> what happens it's not. in Amsterdam? There's bank statements Amsterdam. for a start. But actually, what happens in Amsterdam made it to my podcast. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Classic. Go on, you're up. Should we do another confession? Well, we've got to hit three, haven't we? We've hit, we? we've hit two so far, so we've got to hit at least three. Oh, I love right. these confessions. Okay, do you want me to do it? Read I love one dabbling out. in other people's business. <laughs> <laughs> no, is he? No, is he? Uh, yeah, right. Is he? This is a classic. I'm, 20, I'm a 24-year-old dating a 19-year-old. That's classic, is it? <laughs> I feel like it's not okay. Okay, maybe the use of the word classic. Oh, I'm going to say, the use of the word classic is It's poor. a classic, isn't it? No, actually. <laughs> isn't it not? <laughs> Someone get her a towel. Let's come on, Arlene. Right. Funny. I'll put that in. Um, yeah. No, I think as you get older, age gaps do increase. Yeah. Mm. 24 and 19. It's not illegal for a start. It's, not, it's, illegal. it's not illegal in it's any illegal. part of the world it's that really I know It's really not of. illegal. And... You know, when you dial it back to school. So how many... 19, 20, 22, 23. That's five years. So... 10 and 15 is looking a bit weird. Yes. Yeah. That, 15 and 20 is also looking like a bit weird. 31 and 36. Yeah. yeah. 31 and 36, fine. Yeah. 15 and 20, not fine. Yeah. It's when you met them, in my opinion, for a start. Yeah, yeah. If, I you, agree. if you've gone under radar and like pre-ordered it, that's a bit different. <laughs> <like>. <laughs> pre-ordered. 
Yeah, like that's one. I started, I'm, I'm, I started fancying her when she was 14, but I didn't make it official. Yeah, that's, that's crazy to me. When you've done that. that we played the long game. Yeah, that, the yeah. Long game. That's, that's a court case, that is. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you can't, it. We can't be that's behaviour beyond my means. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think at that age, 19, 24, that's all right. I agree, yeah. yeah. If you've met there or the year before, fairs. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've met them from like 18, 17, 18, 18 onwards. 18 onwards, for me, yeah. personally. 18 onwards, I think that's all right with there's me. An age, age, there's an age thingy for a reason. For me, it's 18 onwards, like yeah. just some personal ethics and stuff like that. Yeah. Because they each you not live like you're not starting to live life until you turn eighteen. Yeah, mm-hmm. just because the legal think. legal age of consent in this country it's is 16, sixteen, yeah, doesn't mean to say that everybody be, <laughs> everybody sticks by it's that. It's fine, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> no, give it a couple of years. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I I, I don't think that's bad. Twenty four mm. dating a nineteen year old. You've said it's confession, so because clearly you see a little bit of it. Yeah, I was going to say if you've sent that in, that's. Uh, I think you're a bit worried, but I don't mm. think you need to be. It I think what, age what side gaps. of the party you on? Yeah, is the nineteen year old sent that? Or is the twenty four year old sent that? Because mm. if you're the nineteen, the yeah. twenty four year old said that. Oh, okay, so you know that. Twenty four okay, dating a nineteen year old. All right. But age gaps are becoming like way more common, or yeah. like at least maybe not more common, but more spoken about and shared yeah. on social yeah, media. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, a couple of our friends have got some. Sim- exactly similar the situations. same to similar age gaps to that. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, they obviously, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's not. I don't think it's a massive. I don't think, thing. I don't think it's bad at all. No, but but well, as long I think as it's you're bad at all, eighteen onwards, like that's fine. Yeah, if you're thirty-one dating eighteen, you're a bit odd. As long as your ideals match up, do you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, like yeah. if you're both looking to do the same things, you both want to get a house at the same time, you both want to move out the same time because if, if you're stuck in your I'm 19 I still want to party until I'm 26 but then the 24 year old you're with is a down. really mature 24 year old maybe it's a bit different but that's you that's your decision that's your choice it's you're your in that relationship, you're in that relationship not me I'm not going to come over and super nanny your house do you know what I mean yeah. uh, but I, I, I that's alright with me yeah sits well anyway same so um, 46 minutes of well mm. yeah um, I think Oh, should we hit a few Lil's mistakes? Go on then, hit some Lil's mistakes because people gonna... like you. They're here for you. <laughs> we're going to give you a little bit of an insight into my life. <laughs> I'm not going to delve too deep into my relationship mistakes because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to anger the exes. <laughs> uh, no, we're all mates now. It's fine. Um, but there are a couple of things with me and you. I actually don't think they're mistakes, but I think they're a couple of things that I didn't think about when I did them. Mm. Um, so the first one, you're not going to, these aren't news to you. Okay. <laughs> you're not going to be like, oh. Um, but putting you on my social media, because okay. we live very different social media presence lives. Yeah. Putting you on my social media, I think in some ways, um, not it wasn't a mistake, but I think, sometimes I think I wish I'd thought about the way I, you know how some people do it, like a soft launch. I'm going to soft launch my boyfriend by fo- posting like a couple of miscellaneous, like, oh, he's in the background, but who is he? Who there's is a, there's a hand there, there's a hairy hand in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a hairy chest in the background of this picture. Um, but I don't, that wouldn't have been for me anyway. I wouldn't have, I didn't think anyone no. would care that much for me to soft launch you into my life. I don't think anyone cares that See, much about me. See, that's what you're naive as, as well though, mm. because... I think they would have cared. Not not in the sense that they care so much about me because I think it would, would more have been of a, oh my God, Lil's got a boyfriend. Like, yeah, who is it? I not agree. A, oh my God, it's Liam, Lil, Lil's boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was more effective. Who is Lil's boyfriend? Yeah. But um, sometimes I think, have I launched you too far into, because you come, I, I take Liam everywhere. We spoke about this last time, but I take, yeah. take Liam everywhere with me. So like events and stuff like that. Have I just completely brought you into my world? Because I came in, and then I was just like, hello, I'm Lil, and this is what you've got to do for me now. Yeah. <laughs> There's no you, contract been signed anyway, just so you know. You've got so many more jobs, yeah. <laughs> now you're with me. The but maintenance also, is so high. Yeah. Uh, no. But sometimes I think maybe I should have given you a little bit we more. We had spoke about it before, though. Yeah. And uh, I'm, my, I'm like, my mum said this to you as well. It's like, I'm so relaxed about everything. Yeah. Like, Liam's not a, so laid back, it's practically horizontal. Yeah. <laughs> is that the right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the right, the right way. way. Verticals up right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I am very laid back. I yeah. don't care. I don't care what people think about me. If you yeah. hate me, you hate me. Like, I've got my mates. I've yeah. got you. I'd, I couldn't care less to use a 117, that's on yeah. TikTok comments on one video. Like, yeah. You're just not affecting my life at all. Yeah. 
So that's, a good that's my view on it. I, I, not everyone's view is the same. Yeah. It's like a lot of people are really self conscious and mm. they don't want to be posted on the internet. And yeah. I, I completely respect that and understand it, but it's just my personal take. I just don't care. Yeah. I think it's a, it's got to be a personal thing, really, hasn't it? It depends on what you, of course it is, how yeah. you feel in that relationship, I guess. Mm-hmm. But that's my take on it, anyway. Yeah. You know what else I want your take on? Well, I want your take on how I made the first move what, on us. What? Because <laughs> what, what, usually, yeah. stereotypically, if we're going to be very 1950s about it, yeah. the boy would make the first move. Indeed. You would try to give me a, riz me up a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was no riz needed. Not I was, for me. <laughs> I rizzed you up. You did riz me I up. went in there, riz 100, ultimate riz. Back in the local club. Back in... Unnamed local club. Unnamed local club. Yeah. That's no longer there. Yeah. I'm not going to name well, it. Well, my take on it is mint. See? Happy days. <laughs> my take on it, Sad. mint. Mint. Makes a fucking change. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a change. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just happy days. That one. <laughs> no, but Liam, I chased him down. Uh, mm. Like, no, I... Because I... Cause I I'm not going to be one of those people that's like, I didn't chase, I attract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't, I, I didn't have it. I did meet you in a, in a period where I wasn't interested in mm. getting to know boys mm. apart from you. It was yeah. like a, a, a f- switch of flicks in my head that night when I, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and stick it on this boy. Mm. So I did. Um, and it, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work straight away because Liam was out with his mate and he was like, oh, you are lovely. Here's my friend. You probably- Shout out to Joe, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you probably really like Joe. And I was yeah. like, I don't think I would like Joe. This is the I first think time. I would like you. I'm going to say his full name, Joe Clark. He's out, he's out in Zanti at the minute, I think. Yeah, um, he is. He's, he's the first time he'd come out like, locally with yeah. me. And I was like, fucking hell. Here's, Lily comes across, she's like, I'm talking to us. I'm like, here's my mate Joe. I don't yeah. think he was- I don't think you was interested at all. Yeah, in me at all I thought Liam was just I trying was to. Just, I, did, I wasn't. Oh my god, Lily's trying to get on me like. Oh, here's <laughs> Clearly, Joe. I was doing such a good job. He had no idea. <laughs> yeah, literally, this flown completely under the radar. So I tried to stick Joe. Yeah, it, I thought it was because Liam was like, "Oh no, no. <laughs> you're not for me, but you oh. might be for Joe." But it wasn't. He had no idea. I was trying yeah. to float. You're oblivious. Clearly, I yeah. must be really good at it. That's why. <laughs> Smooth. But brilliant. no, we were mates before, so it would be a bit out of the blue. Because mm. I, did, why, I didn't speak to him anyway. Me. I was like, oh, this is out of the blue. I didn't see yeah. it as that at all. So it's not like, um, oh, she don't she don't fancy me because it's out of the blue. Or she, this, this, that, and the other. It just didn't clock in my head that yeah. she's trying to make moves on me at all. Until later on. That was the same night, wasn't it? Or later on that night. Yeah, it was that same night. Yeah, I just same, same very, night. extremely persistent. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, well, I'm just going to stink with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. I got wingman so hard that night as well. <laughs> like, you got I didn't wingman? Even, yeah, by, by Zach. Jack. Oh, yeah, by Zach. The DJ. Oh my god, the infamous DJ. <laughs> yeah, we um we spent so long on the, on the dance floor just talking to each other yeah. that Zach, the DJ that we were on our friends with, um <clears throat> stopped the music. <laughs> he stopped the middle music of, yeah, and grabbed the microphone. Of... He went, uh, "Are you gonna kiss her or what?" <laughs> <laughs> Bear in mind, she's got her arms around me like this at this point. Yeah. So what and did the... you do? Well, he kissed yeah, me. Yeah. Oh. No, we were club locals by this point. I was a club yeah. rat. Everyone. <laughs> Every was Friday and Saturday, yeah. we were locals there and. It was, we weren't, we didn't, we'd never got together though, like, so it was completely out of the blue. Mm. And Zach had had an off. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I was staring at her, I was just not doing anything. So I went, are you going to kiss her or what? And that was the end of that. Yeah. And then he drove me home and that was that. That's and history. Yeah. I moved to university the next day. I spoke mm. about this before. I did, I moved to uni the next day and uh, well, went to, did the full freshers week. And I was like, well, I don't want any. That was, the, yeah, that was rough for you, wasn't <laughs> it? It was, yeah. That was rough for you. It was, uh, was, if you do, if you hit fresh as hard, fair play, mm. because that is brutal. Yeah, I've seen what that's done to people. <laughs> like, <laughs> we survived freshers, which meant we could have survived anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was because we were very secretive as well. We didn't tell anyone because I have a complicated history with Liam's friendship group. Oh. so we kept it under wraps. Yeah, under wraps. It was a secret because we didn't want to anger anybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were just worried about everyone else's feelings. Um, so it was a bit of a secret and then it turned out it was it was all fine when we mm. finally like came out with it everyone was a yeah. bit like that's the most random, random pairing yeah. I've ever seen <laughs> everyone said to me they're like out of all the boys you could have picked Lil that we went to school with why was it yeah. me <laughs> that's the most awkward person you could have chose to, to tip over everyone's feelings yeah. but it, it worked out so fine and everyone mm. we've got a really good friendship group now yeah where Everyone grows to be like no, no one. No one actually cares that much. That's another thing about if you're getting a relationship, yeah. you're worried about other people's feelings. People, yeah, people mature, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. At the end of the day, you got to put <laughs> you got to put your feelings above other people's. I think 
in a situation where if you think this can make you really happy, yeah. uh, it's different if it's like your best friend. Take, and take it's people's like, feelings into account, though. Yeah, don't take yeah. them into account. But it's different if it's like your best friend and you're going out with their ex-boyfriend. That's a bit completely mm. different. Or mm. like your ex-boyfriend's yeah. sister. I don't know. Yeah. But um, it's, it, it, it's different like that. But mm. I think if you really think that this is going to make you really happy... You gotta think about your feelings. You gotta put them first because you could be missing out on something massive. Yeah. Um, mm. I know. I'm a big believer in you gotta do what you think yeah. is right, but it's one of them things, really. Um, should we go back to? <coughs> do you want a dilemma? Go on, hit me one. We'll give you a dilemma. I, oh, real quick. we're turning over. Or you can give me a dilemma. Go on, let me give you a dilemma. Go Let's on. choose. I'm about to give you my take. Oh yeah. <laughs> if we're gonna. T- <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> this is this is a uh, the section of the section of the podcast where I put my headband on. <laughs> the type and Oh no, me knee. I, I gotta put me on. I gotta put my thinking cap on if you're gonna ask me to sort out your life. I'm gonna need to do it in an headband. Oh, it's matching as Wait. well. Of course oh my it's gosh, matching. I thought this that through well. before I came. Why can't I get it on my head? So this one is a um <laughs> what actually is this? I believe it's a lobster. I think it's a I lobster. Think it is. It's got to be. It's not a crab. No. It's given lobster. Is it a crab? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The eyes are doing me because the eyes are like really wide. This is where people <laughs> who have never seen my TikTok are really confused. Everyone's yeah. lost at and this point. And they're like, point. who is... If you haven't seen me on TikTok, my name's Lil. Lil Six Two. And mm. a lot of people call me the headband girl now, which is so unfortunate. Uh, I walk around the streets and people shout headbands at me. Um, but we're going to roll with the punches. I'm really leaning into it. Right, I've got my thinking cap on. Hit me with the dilemma. I'm going to fix your life. Right. I'm, I'm going to hit you hard eyes. with this one. Okay. I feel like this is this is probably affecting quite a few people. Mm-hmm. Maybe. It's quite quite a, quite a broad audience you're going to hit with okay. this one. So my talking stage is hit and miss with replies. Um, do, I, do I entertain it still or bin it off? Hmm. That's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. Because again... I'm going to speak from a privileged perspective. Mm. Bin it off. Really? Yeah, I mean, I've been in talking stages in the past where, you, you know, when you're you're very clearly more obsessed with that person than they are with you. Mm. And it just seems, I know a lot of people don't reply to make um, to make it seem like they're not interested because yeah. they think it's a, it's a, think it's a whole thing like, oh, I'm playing hard to get. No, at some point it's really frustrating yeah. and you're yeah. like, no, just reply to all. Oh, oh, honestly, all I want to do is speak to you. So yeah. why won't you? Why won't you reply? Talk to me. Just talk to me. <laughs> um, I think it's a bit too. If you're acting like that, acting like oh, I'm gonna play hard to get and I'm gonna spend spend ages on my reply. I don't. I think you're probably maybe talking to a couple of people. I you're agree maybe with that. in that stage of your life where you're not ready to yeah. have a relationship where you do just want to speak to one person. So let's be honest, if you want if you're not replying to that person to make them lust for you or you, whatever reason, you're not closing Snapchat, you're replying to other people. Yeah. Like let's yeah. be honest, you're just gonna yeah. not reply to that one person. Or the person that you're not replying to is gonna think that. Yeah. That in their head or they're gonna think as well they're obviously they're busy replying people. to their other biatches. Yeah. Biatches. Biatches. That's, like, that's what I thought. <laughs> You know, if someone wouldn't reply to me for a couple of a couple of days, maybe that's my friends thing. I'm so bad at replying. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really awful. Yeah. I'm not great, but um, yeah, I think it's a bit of a it's a bit of a at, at my age, at twenty, mm. I think it's a bit of an immature move. Yeah. If you're in a talking stage and you're just not replying to someone, yeah, on purpose. If you've got a reason, you're at work nine hours, mm. you're earning that living, you're getting that bread. Yeah, that's fair. fair enough. You've got to take yeah. there's. Um, Situation, you've got to take the situation into account. Like, yeah. Obviously, diff- people in different situations, depending on work and stuff like that. Yeah. If you're younger and you're, you're at school and this, that and the other. Yeah. You, you've you got to also say, like, it's all right sticking on them saying, you're being immature. Mm. Give them a chance to mature. Like, Don't just mm. put a label on them being immature. Like, yeah. Obviously, they have just not matured yet. Yeah. It's not necessarily a bad thing. People yeah. learn along the way. Because they will. It's just not yeah, exactly. your time it's just yet. Not and that's time fine. Yet. Mm. So everyone... Don't be nasty about it. Yeah. Just... They might be being nasty. They're not for you and that's fine. Yeah. Like, be amicable. Um, I'm going to hit you with one now. You're going to hit me with one? Yeah, this is a... I feel like this is a, a cliche. Are we going to end does, on this one? That does happen. Yeah, should we end on this one? It's up to you. It's going to be a big one to end. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I feel I like know. this is controversial because I don't know if I'm going to um, answer this the way you would like me to. Um, so, I might be in love with my mate of five years now. How am I meant to stop that? That's Ooh. a big one. So, you know, having like a boy and girl best friend 
but you're actually in love with them. How do you? Because if you go out with that person, you're completely playing into that cliche of like, of course you are. We're just mates. Yeah. But then you're not. You're not. Be- behind your eyes, you're not. Yeah. That's rough, man. Especially if if it's one person that feels that way and the other mm. person doesn't. Yeah. You've got to be different. willing to lose. Yeah. The, the, you, you're going to lose. You put yeah. a lot on the line there. Yeah. You've you got to think that friendship is never going to be the same. As soon as you open yeah. up like that way, that friendship is never going to be the same. Yeah. It's simple as that. It's black and white. You might yeah. be able to still be friends, but it's never going to be where it's at now. Yeah. Like from what I've talk- or, or if you will, it's going to take a long time. Yeah. To, not, I'm not talking about, I've not been in this situation. Yeah. But, from my perspective, that's my take on that. Yeah. Mm. If you're going to do it, be prepared to lose. You've yeah. got to compromise. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think just, that's... I think that's only... That's a decision only you can make. Yeah. This, yeah obviously, I, I've know. said what I can say on that. Yeah. I think you've got to take... Where are the pros and cons? Yeah. I also right. think there's not like a right or a wrong answer. Yeah. Like it's yeah, just yeah. down to the person. Yeah, yeah. It's down to that so, person, yeah, that friendship. How close you are. Like, it massively depends on how the other person feels. If... Yeah. You are completely besotted with this person, but they do only just see you as a friend. Mm. You're going to have an hard time there. Yeah, yeah it might get Are you going to break your own heart in the in the process? Yeah, yeah it's all relative, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And is that, what if that person's already with a, another person and they're yeah, happy? that's a good point. Yeah. Well. At that point, you've got to decide between being really happy for your friend that's clearly happy mm. or your own feelings. torturing yourself. Mm. Because if you just sit there and, and wonder like, oh, but I'm in love with this person, I can't tell. You are torturing yourself by being there and, and, and not supporting that. And but then again, you're losing two things there. Yeah. You're losing a friendship really by difficult... taking your way, self away from it so you you don't feel I wouldn't feel say, those... yeah, even then though, I wouldn't say take yourself away from it. I think you need mm. to just... Step back. Step back. Take it. Yeah. maybe try and... It's so hard to just change your mindset because you can't, but mm. um, change the way you look at it and just, just yeah. think of it as like being happy for that person yeah. and not... I'd say talk to family about it as well. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily talk to your friends. On other f- I don't know. I think I talk if you've got a f- if that's your closest friend. Then, say, yeah, if she's that's difficult. Best friend, yeah, you're not going to talk to your best friend about it. But it's yeah. also if you're in the same Listen, friendship group. I'm in love with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hypothetically, if I was in love with you, <laughs> how would you say, tell me to deal with it? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, that's a really difficult one. But I do. I think you're right. I think it's a personal thing. Yeah, yeah definitely. Deal with it the way you deal with it. Mm. So. I think we're going to end it there. Have a look. Ha- we're going to have a wrap on this episode. But um, is that it for the relationships segment? Yeah, I think that is it for the relationships. I did one. What I do want to say quickly is mm-hmm. I, I would like to talk to uh, talk about this again, <laughs> maybe with other guests. Um, so me and Liam and a couple of other people to get a couple of outside views on it. That'd be nice. Um, so if you were thinking of anyone that you would like us to talk about this topic with, mm. defo send me an email. We've got that little email set up. I can't remember the word. I can't remember what it is right it now. It is. I forgot it. <laughs> Go on, we'll, we'll get it up. It's It'll be in the description. Pod at gmail.com. Yeah. If there it's not it that, that. It's, we'll pop it on the screen as well. We'll put it in the description. So it's there for you if you want to email in. Or you mm-hmm. can obviously, you can always send me DMs, voice notes, whatever you fancy. But if you do want it to be a little bit more anonymous, drop me an email and that's fine as well. Spot on. And we will see you next week. Indeed. See you later. Tidy bye. <laughs>